Hey there everybody, Ian back here with you, Scumbo's Media Outlet. Hey, um, I got some new release movies on Blu-ray, one on DVD that I'm going to have to take back because I bought the DVD instead for some reason in a box set that came out a few weeks ago that I've been wanting for a while that I'm looking forward to re-watching. So, first thing I got, for some reason I picked up the DVD by mistake, um, a great Bond film, No Time to Die. The final Bond film for Daniel Craig as James Bond. Been in the role since 2006, which is crazy. Um, I really like this movie. A lot of people didn't, I think, for mainly because of the ending. But I kind of liked how it ended because Bond has never been... I, I'm just going to... If you haven't seen it, uh, Bond has never been like open to kind of do whatever it wants to. And I think with, this, with the way this movie ends, I'm interested to see where they take the franchise. But... I thought the action scenes were terrific in this. Uh, D Daniel Craig nails it again. My f second favorite James Bond after Sean Connery. Love what Daniel Craig has done with this role. So glad he came back for this final film. And I, um, I'm going to be taking this back and getting the Blu-ray for some reason. I here's my cat Grayson who wants to say hi. So there he is. Oh, watch out, buddy. Watch out. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. Okay. Grayson always wants to say hi during my, my videos. Um, next are a couple I haven't seen before, but I really want to watch them. They've got great reviews. Um, this is The Last Duel. P -p I picked this up for not very much. Love this cast. Love Ridley Scott, the director. Um, th this was this got really good reviews, so I hope to watch this in the next few days. Great cast. Matt Damon. Uh, Adam Driver. Jodie Comer from Killing Eve, who's awesome on that show. And Ben Affleck. Uh, Nicole uh, um, Holofcener, I'm not sure how you pronounce her name. I know she wrote uh, Can You Ever Forgive Me? That was a great movie with Melissa McCarthy um, and Richard E. Grant. If, if you've never seen that one, check that one out too. But she wrote, but she co-wrote uh, co this with Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, which is great to to see them them writing a movie again. I don't know if they've written really written anything since Goodwill Hunting, but. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. The Last Duel. Next, um, Wes Anderson is one of my favorite directors, one of the best, <clears throat> probably one of the most unique filmmakers out there. I've been wanting to, to see this movie for the last year and a half when it was announced. And that is The French Dispatch, uh, written and, and directed by Wes Anderson with a story from Anderson. Uh, Roman Coppola, uh, Hugo Guinness, and Jason Schwartzman, who were frequent uh, collaborators with with uh, Wes Anderson, of course, an amazing cast. Bill Murray, who's in pretty much all of Wes Anderson's films. Francis McDormand, Jeffrey Wright, Benicio Del Toro, uh, Timothy Chalamet, Owen Wilson, Adrian Brody, Tilda Swinton. Uh, just, yeah, another killer cast. Uh, Chris, uh, Christoph Waltz, Edward Norton, and Angelica Houston. Um, this is a series of stories... Um, Taken from the final issue of, of an American magazine based in the twenty in, in the fictional a fictional twentieth uh, century French city, a vibrant film, a funny, moving celebration of journalism. Um, I come from a family who owns a local newspaper where I live, so um, I've heard good things about this film. Not like amazing things, but I'm excited to watch it. Um, I, I love Wes Anderson, and he usually makes good if not great movies so the last thing i got i had uh, three people at my local best buy help me find it because they said they had someone stock um got this awesome karate kid um 4k collection that's been out for a little while now um take off the slip cover here wow i haven't i th this back is just uh, amazingly cool um of course cobra kai is about to go into its fourth season tomorrow um Everybody just loves that show. Um, it's it's really hard not to when you have these characters back, and it's so true to to what it um, to its uh, source material. It's very you know it makes you feel like you're back in that uh, um, Karate Kid universe, and I really think that's a great aspect of it. So I was excited to see what Cobra Kai brings. Really nice cover, great artwork on here. I'll go ahead and show you uh, um, that's, uh, really cool. Of course we got the original Karate Kid. 
Um, all these backs are the same, so they're all the same like there and like that. And got a lot of special features on this. A Blu-ray Blu pop-up track, which is cool. Uh, commentary, making ofs, even more on the 4K with reflections by Ralph Macchio, William Zabka, and Martin Cove, who are all in the Cobra Kai series. So, of course, you have some great artwork there. Very cool. That is, of course, the classic. I met Ralph Macchio at a convention, and he is an extremely nice person. I love meeting him. I'd love to get the chance to, to talk to him again. So if, I, if I'm at another con and he's there, I would like to do that. Next, The Karate Kid Part 2. I haven't seen 2 and 3 in a long time. I'll have to rewatch them. Of course, uh, Ralph Macchio and Pat, uh, uh, Pat Morita, the late Pat Morita, who got an Oscar nomination for the first Karate Kid movie. Many people may not know that. I like uh, Karate Kid 2 from what I can recall. Got some special features on here too, some commentaries and another pop-up track. Just cool. Um, I just had these on standard DVD, so I mean it's one of my favorite film series. So and then the Karate Kid Part Three. A lot of people don't care much for this one. This doesn't seem to have any special features listed, so I don't know. It must not. I don't know why it wouldn't have at least like a trailer or something. It doesn't seem to have like a pop-up track or anything like the other ones. I'll get these discs looking good here. I know some one of the characters from Three is supposed to be in the Cobra Kai show now. But I have to watch. I've watched three in a really long time. I'll have to watch that one. But yeah, I'm really excited to get these on 4K and Blu-ray. Um, I don't have a 4K player yet. Hopefully that's in, in in the future too. But this is a awesome box set. I love all this artwork on here. Love the bonsai tree on the front. Love the characters on the back. Um, yeah, it's just really cool. So, okay, that's all. All that's all of my pickups I got. Today, uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys have seen from this haul I got. Um, are you a uh, uh, Karate Kid fan, a Cobra Kai fan? Have you seen any of these movies I got, Last Duel, French Dispatch, or are you a big James Bond fan like, like I am? Huge Bond fan, No Time to Die, thought it was great. So, okay, that's all I got for this video. Like, comment, and, and subscribe to my page, Stumbo's Media Outlet. Ring that bell for, for notifications so you guys know when I post new videos. Okay, that's all I got, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.